The tobacco and vaping industries are trying to hook our kids on nicotine. How? By using vaping devices to attract them. One out of every five Massachusetts high school students reports they currently use e-cigarettes. And almost half of high school students have used them at least once. Vaping devices resemble pens, small electronic devices such as USB sticks, and other everyday items. These products are designed to be used discreetly, even in places like schools or at home. Vaping devices use e-juices in flavors like grape, cotton candy, strawberry, and mint, which appeal to youth. The U.S. Surgeon General has even declared e-cigarette use among youth an epidemic. So what can parents and concerned adults do? Get the facts. Vapes and e-cigarettes are not harmless. They produce an aerosol that contains nicotine and other harmful chemicals. It's not water vapor. And they can cause nicotine addiction. Research shows that kids who vape are more likely to use cigarettes and other tobacco products, potentially becoming lifelong customers for the tobacco industry. And because young brains are still growing, nicotine can harm them, including memory and the ability to learn. It can also increase the risk for mood disorders, such as depression. Learn what these products look like. They're often called e-cigs, vapes, vape pens, e-hookahs, e-pipes, tanks, and mods. But don't be fooled. The industry continually comes out with new products, new names, and new flavors. Vaping products are also sold widely at places that kids visit, like convenience stores, corner stores, gas stations, and even online. Talking with your kids about vaping is important. Kids are less likely to vape if they know you disapprove of it. Vaping, it's the new look of nicotine addiction. Learn more about vapes, what's in them, and what you can do at getoutrage.org.